Kate. Hey, little girl. You're in your box. Any eggs? Oh, you pushed all the moss onto this side. Are you renovating or are there little eggies in here? Oh, no eggies yet, but you are thick with like eight C's. Okay, I will leave you alone. How about today, Kate? Oh, you're out of the box. Oh, and you look a lot thinner. Did you lay eggs? Mind if I take a look? Oh, you definitely look thinner. Are there eggs in here? <gasps> oh, there are. Please don't be slugs. Please don't be slugs. Those are slugs. <laughs> There's, that's like a shell connected to that egg. And that's, I think, a good egg. This is so bizarre. Okay, let's take a closer look at these things. I'm so confused. Oh, that's a good egg, okay. We've got, what is this? This is like part of a poop connected to the egg. Kate, do you not know how to lay eggs? We've got a good egg there, a good egg, well, maybe a slug. I don't know if this is a slug or not, but it's connected to the shell of another egg. And then we have a deflated egg here with the other half of that egg shell connected to it. Okay, that's a good egg. And that's another deflated one. Kate, what did you do in here? Did you try to eat your eggs and fail miserably? Oh, sorry, okay. Well, I'll leave you be. Is there anything on this side? Nope. Oh. Okay, a couple eggs. This is so bizarre. All right, well, I guess we'll uh, take out the good ones, figure out which ones are good, and uh, put them in some perlite. I'm so confused. So yeah, she laid eggs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's some sluggy ones in there. But oh, but she laid eggs. I'm so excited. Interview here, it's like a proud pageant <laughs> moment. <laughs> are you proud of your I'm previous so child? Proud. I'm so proud she fulfilled her destiny. <laughs> Good job, Kate. I raise her for that one's bad, that one's you. bad, that one's bad, that one's good. That one's popped. That one's good. Oh yeah, there's a few popped ones. <laughs> yeah, there's some eggs stuck to shells. I don't know why. Nick, She's just hissing. <laughs> All right, now that we have the perlite and a little egg box ready, let's take a closer look at Kate's eggs. Hi, sweetie. Oh, she is angry. Yeah, she's typical Kate. Not Hi. happy with the world. Kate, why are you so angry? You just had babies. Kind of, you had eggs. Come here, it's okay. You're gonna get food soon. Are you done hissing now? No. No, Not still yet. mad. Still mad. Okay, well I'll set you back. We'll feed you in a little bit here. But first we're gonna look at your eggs. And I mean, first. Yep, she got everything out. All right, cool. Okay, let's take a look. Take that. We're gonna add some caves and stuff again. Now that the lay box doesn't have to be in there, but let's see. All right, Kate, what do we have going on in here? Oh my gosh. Wow, she had a lot of eggs. That's more than I thought there were actually. One, two. I think I see one, two, three, four good ones. Uh, maybe five and six. That one's got a weird spot. Yeah, but... well, incubate till there's no debate. Exactly. All right, let's get this perlite going. It's like cottage cheese. <laughs> it does kind of look like cottage cheese. I mean, not as tasty, but... Yeah, this is forbidden cottage cheese. It's probably crunchier than cottage cheese. Uh, I'm sure it is. Don't eat this. Or do, and let me know how it is. All right, what do we have? Here's one egg. I think that looks yeah. good. It's pretty white. Okay, we'll go for it. We've got this mess. I don't think that's good. No, I don't think that one's good either, no. but might as well try, unless it's I like oozy. Think... No, this is okay. smelly and rubbery. That's going in the no pile. This one's good. A good enough, anyway. Yep. Good-ish. This one, huh. Well, mm. I've seen half sluggy ones hatch before. Yeah, it's like an okay-ish egg with a bulb on this. You know what? Let's try it. Yep. On the plus side, this one looks great. Oh, that looks perfect. This one even has like a, it, the shell kind of feels a teeny bit crinkly, which to me with hognose eggs means it's a calcified shell. So that tells me that it is a good egg. Here's another good egg. This might be the best looking one out of the whole clutch. And mm, then there's nope. this. That's a nope. That's a no. She looks like she popped that one. Yeah. That's a, mm, that's no. That's a no. This one? That one's a maybe. Good. It looks like there's a shell that got attached to it. Weird. So I would incubate that one. You think? Yeah. All right. Because of how good this area looks. Yeah, that does look, I mean, it's covered in moss and it's just covered in gunk. 
I think it's covered in the yolk of other eggs, honestly. Yeah. That would explain why these are popped and why a lot of these possibly good eggs are just discolored. So, all right, we're gonna, I guess, try, I might put you off on in the end. Which right, hopefully in the doesn't mean it's gonna suffocate the eggs, but yeah. we'll see. Uh, we will see. I'm just glad she got them out and she yeah. doesn't look like she's having issues. Yeah, she got everything out and she's she's fine. Here's another one that has a weird bulb on the side. Yeah, so you can that one go will probably go bad, but. Other iffy friend with a, a bulb, or a bulge rather. That's a slug if That's I've ever good. seen one. Throw that one in. Yeah, no. That's a good one. Yeah, and we oh. have one more good one. All right, what an odd clutch. Um, they're so messy and covered in yolk and poop and sphagnum moss that I don't know if I can write on these. Huh. Well, you can always give it a try. Yeah, what would I write on a kind of iffy, just odd, kind of gross clutch? Poison Pokemon? I was thinking different poops. Or poops. Should we do different poops? Sure. All right. We here's... talk about like dog poop versus human poop, or are we talk about like liquidy poop versus good looking logs We're versus. Just gonna see what happens. That right. that's the the piley poop. Yep. Do a splatter. That's my splatter. Splatter poop. Splatter poop. Yep. Do okay. rabbit turds. Oh, there we go. Or smart pellets, as my dad calls them. Human poop. Human poop, but wait. Oh, I know what you're going for already. Human poop with corn. Horned poop. Um, uh, Cheyenne poop. Huh, we can do that. Okay. How does her poop look? It has like a dark spot and a white spot. There. Splatter. A splatter. That's a Cheyenne poop. We'll go for it. This one I'm gonna do. If college taught me right, fox poop has like weird twisted ends. Oh really? Yeah. So I'm gonna. That's. Do they do, they do like a twist when they I crank her off? I don't know, honestly, but it's a twisted end type of poop. So that's my fox poop. Kind of looks like, I guess, a wrapped piece of candy. Okay. You should do the South Park poop. What's the South Park poop? Mr. Oh. Hanky. Oh. Howdy ho. <laughs> Mr. Hanky. The Christmas poo. He loves me. I love you. I'm not going to say anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty inappropriate yes. after that. Mm. Do we have one more? Oh, yeah, yeah. there's the one more. It's a cow pie. Ah, there, there you go. There we go. Our poop clutch. The poop clutch. And Sorry, the bad Kate. Ones. And the bad eggs. Kate with Rango. Let's hope some of those hatch. Yes. Kate, do you want a mouse? You just laid eggs. You deserve a mouse. Oh. Well, when we filmed this video, we included a segment where Kate ate adorably from my hands, but it seems like recently YouTube is not liking videos that show reptiles eating. They say it's like animal abuse or something. It's really too bad because it's just nature, but we won't be able to show her eating that mouse in this video. So instead, here are some cute clips of Kate. So these eggs are the eggs from her and Rango, who, or Ringo. It's Ringo, it's not Rango. Rango. I like Rango better. Well, sorry, Nick and Danae, he's Rango now. Yep. So Kate and Rango are both azanthic cognoses, meaning they lack the yellow pigmentation, and that's what gives them this beautiful grayscale coloration. And they're both also het for albino, and having paired those two together, and we also paired her with just a, a normal that was het albino and het azanthic, so the babies will kind of tell us what the parents are based on the ratio of what they look like. But if it was her and R Ringo, then they will all be azanthic, and a quarter of them will also be snow. Completely white. Completely white hog noses. So we do have a chance at getting snows. Actually, regardless on if it was the het snow or if it was Ringo, oh, yeah. uh, both of them have a chance of creating snows. So we actually nice. might get snows in this clutch. That will be awesome. Yeah, we've never made snows yeah, before. Yeah, snows were the hit thing when we started breeding yeah, the hog noses. all white with slight pattern yeah. hog nose. Was that four years ago now? Five yeah. years ago? Yeah. Now everybody got snows. It's it's old news, but we can still get snows. It's not old news for us. This yeah. might be our first year making snows. Yeah. Good job, Kate. Well, here is a little update on the eggs. It's actually been a month now. Not all of them made it. We already removed a few that went bad, and it looks like today I'm going to be taking out a couple more. Uh, you may notice that they're in a different order, and I'm actually surprised that so many of them made it because what happened was on the way home from the shop when we filmed the earlier part of this video, 
They must have shifted in the back seat or something and were leaning up against the car door. Because when I went back and opened the door, the whole thing fell out of the car and landed on our driveway. And all of the eggs were disheveled. And thankfully, we had written on the top part of the eggs so we could reposition them. But I think that may have caused a few of the eggs to go bad. Or not, because not all of them went bad. I'm actually surprised there are as many good ones still as there are. So we have the corny poop one, the regular poop one, and the rabbit poop egg are still looking good. And a couple of these eggs looked kind of sluggy anyway. So I'm not sure if it's from the car incident or just that they weren't fertile to begin with. But I guess I'm just happy that we have three good eggs still. And that just shows you that even falling out of a car and rolling all around and like it was about a two foot drop onto the driveway these eggs made it just fine so that was kind of cool to see how resilient they are but yeah i'm just gonna while we're here throw you away and uh yeah well oh yeah that's yeah garbage i was like oh maybe nope there's ah oh, some of that made it out well I guess Ed's gonna sweep today. Well, yeah, we've got three eggs still that are good, and they are due in another month or so, a little less actually, but hopefully we get some snows out of these. So I guess I'll just end the video here. I can't really think of another place to end it at. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you to our Patreon backers for your very generous support as always. I'm hoping that at least one of these is a snow. I'll put my bet on corny poop. I think that one's gonna be a snow. I can feel it. If you can feel any of them, let me know in the comments because I hope that we get a snow from this clutch. Thank you for watching and we'll see you when they start hatching.